The key to manifesting the life you desire, all the things that you would like to experience in your life is to raise your vibration. And that seems pretty basic, but it is in fact not. And there are a lot of misconceptions around how to raise your vibration. And I'm going to dive into those and debunk some of those and give you some tips that you can use to really raise your vibration, get your energy flowing, and really start to experience the things that you've been trying to manifest in your life for a long, long time. It's a little bit easier than it sounds, but yet there are some tricky nuances to it. So make sure you pay attention. So we all want to manifest the life of our desires. And I work with a lot of people that come to me and they're they're having financial lack and maybe they're looking for relationships and all of these things that they are wanting to experience, but yet they can't. And people are working to raise their vibration. They sit and they meditate and they ground and they do all the things that we talk about doing, but it doesn't seem to change their reality. They're experiencing the same reality day in and day out, no matter what they try to do. And there is one secret that you need to know in order to truly change your reality by raising your vibration and keeping it there on a more consistent basis. What happens usually is we'll sit, we'll meditate, we'll reflect on some things we want. Maybe we'll we'll imagine the life that we want to manifest and then we'll go about our day and we return back to the old subconscious thoughts and the old subconscious programming that keeps reflecting lack, self-worthlessness, uh, lack of self-esteem and those types of emotions. They just they just keep persisting, right? We raise our vibration temporarily in meditation. We feel really good. And then we go back to our daily routines and we start to drop. And the reason for that is because your body is really moving through life or moving through this time-space reality based on how it's been programmed. And you cannot install new programming by simply meditating for 20 minutes a day. That will not raise your vibration to the point where your body will remember that feeling, those emotions that you cultivate during meditation, and then carry that throughout the rest of your day. So what's happening is your body is just reverting back to the frequency that it was at. And the universe, you're sending out these signals that are extremely incoherent. You're sitting for a few moments, you're raising your vibration, you've got all these amazing thoughts about how you want your life to manifest, what you want it to look like, and your body just simply isn't matching that. So that sends out incoherent signals to the universe and your life really tends to stay the same. So how do we overcome that? Or really, how do we overcome ourselves or our body when we're trying to manifest? And the key to doing this is to really return back to the feeling of the states of consciousness that you want to hold or become in your life. The things you want to manifest, if it's abundance, if it's love, if it's confidence, if it's more self-esteem, whatever that looks like for you, these feelings need to be felt on a more consistent basis, okay? Your thoughts can manifest the feelings in your body, but if you don't continually go back to experiencing and feeling these thoughts as though they are happening now your body will not change how it's been programmed. It's going to gradually drop back down to that low baseline level, that low frequency, and that's going to continue to generate the results or the reality that you've been experiencing for many, many years, right? Decades for some of you, okay? So what we want to do is we want to get our body vibrating at a higher frequency, and we do that through feeling, Okay, you can't just do it through thought alone, okay? It's important to feel the emotional states that you want to become so that you can manifest the life of your desires. So we do this by returning back throughout our day to these emotional states, okay? You could have a journal, you can have a vision board, whatever tools that you want to utilize to be able to get you back into the frequencies of manifesting the life you desire, you need to be able to utilize these tools throughout the day, okay? It's the conscious mind 
that will override or install new programming in the subconscious. And really what we want to do is get that subconscious to move into coherence, to move into alignment, which is your body, so that it's aligned with your thoughts. That way you're sending out a coherent signal to the universe all throughout your day. Because if you think about it, you're meditating, you're feeling these emotions, and then you're returning to your normal life after meditation and your body hasn't changed because you don't get in and feel or experience now the emotional states that are going to manifest for you that highest frequency timeline until you meditate tomorrow. Okay, so you've got this big gap of time, sometimes 24 hours in between, where you're returning to your old states of being. That's why your life hasn't changed. So it is so important that throughout your day, even if it's for a few moments, I'm not saying you have to meditate for hours or meditate all day long, few moments throughout your day, it is so important to return to these elevated emotional states of joy, compassion, love, abundance, health, okay, whatever it is you're trying to manifest, you want to experience it within your body as though you have it now, okay? The more consistent you become with this, the more your body will start to reprogram and start to align and resonate these higher frequency states of being. And as that happens, now your, your thoughts, your mind, and your body are going to start to become into coherence. They're going to move into coherence. They're going to be firing on all cylinders at the same time, at the same frequency, which means you're not going to drop. Your vibration's not going to lower throughout the day. It's going to stay elevated. And these signals are going to be going out to the universe. Okay, that is going to then change your reality at a much faster pace. You're going to start to manifest much more quickly because there's no longer discoherent signals firing or emanating from you, which is confusing in terms of the matrix, really, how is your reality going to manifest? You're sending confusing signals. But when you can get back in throughout your day and reconnect with these higher frequency states of being, and you have to do it consciously, you have to set an intention to do this at first, because otherwise you're going to fall right back into your old programming, into your defaults. We want to change the defaults. We want to install new programming. It takes consciousness to be able to do that. So the more conscious you are of the emotional states that you're feeling in your body at any given moment, the more your subconscious will start to change to match your conscious intent. Okay, so really, we need to give a lot of energy in the beginning to reprogram our subconscious mind. And we do that by feeling these higher emotional states within the body, but we have to do it consciously and with intent, okay? Because again, if we don't, the subconscious will take over and we will start to experience more of these lower vibrational emotional states like lack, like self-worthlessness, like no confidence, maybe a lack of health, lack of financial abundance, okay? So the key is to be conscious of how you're feeling. Now, how can we do that? You could have reminders throughout your day on your phone. I've, I've done that before. I would put notes or reminders on my phone to go off every couple of hours so that I would get back in and I would feel these elevated states of emotions. I would let these emotions, and I'd use my imagination to create a picture of my best life, my highest frequency timeline, the one that I want to manifest. And I would feel it as though I'm living it now. And I would let those emotions permeate every cell of my being that stops the old program and starts to install new. But if you don't go back to it regularly, the old program begins to take over. So if you're struggling to manifest, you're doing all of these things. Maybe you're taking courses, you're reading all sorts of books. You've set up a vision board. I've talked about vision boards in the past. Um, and things just aren't working for you. It's because, you know, you have the intention and you mean well, 
but you're not giving enough energy to the process of changing the frequency within your body, which goes back to that subconscious programming. Okay, you're experiencing lack, therefore you're feeling lack. You're experiencing separation, therefore you're feeling separation. You need to be conscious and use consciousness and intentionally get back into the body and remind yourself, I am abundant. I am connected. I am one with source. I am not separate. I am worthy. I am confident. I am love. Okay, and you utilize these conscious thoughts to bring forward these emotional states of being and you fully feel them and you do that throughout your day. You're going to notice over the period of days, weeks, maybe the next month, that you're going to wake up in the morning and you're going to start to just by default feel these higher elevated states of emotion. And when that starts to happen, your body and your subconscious mind is moving into coherence. Your heart is moving into coherence with your thoughts. And when that happens, your reality will start to change in huge ways. You're no longer sending out incoherent signals. The universe is getting an aligned, coherent signal, just like a laser beam. All of the photons are, are at the same frequency, the same wavelength, makes it a very powerful beam. Your body aligned with your mind, with your thoughts, create a laser focused beam of energy that reconstructs this matrix around you to manifest the life of your dreams. If this video resonated, like, subscribe, and share it if you think it'll help someone and watch this one next. Thank you.